Proceed. I'm Dr. Sahil Khanna. I am an assistant professor of medicine and a clinician investigator fellow in gastroenterology and hepatology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. <laughs> when we looked at the incidence of, the study, uh, of this infection over the study period, in the earlier part of the study period from 1991 to 1997, the approximate incidence was three cases per 100,000 children in the Olmsted County. And when you looked at the latter time period, the latter five years of the study, the approximate incidence was 33 children per 100,000 children in the Olmsted County. There are several different reasons why this infection could be more prevalent in children. One would be indiscriminate use of antibiotics, which could be one reason. The other reason is increased carriage in the community per se. And also it's been seen in studies that there is a more virulent strain, meaning a strain of C. difficile infection that has more spread capabilities and causes more disease that has been seen to be circulating out in the community. Now this infection uh, can be related to very serious consequences. People who get this infection tend to have very bad diarrhea, tend to need to go to the hospital, have, be admitted to the hospital for several days, and at times the infection can get very bad as people would need surgery and also can lead to death. The best way to curtail community-acquired infection at this time would be to decrease the amount of antibiotics that prescribed without the need for them and also try and avoid contact from patients who've had this infection in the recent past. A strict uh, hand washing precautions and general uh, hygiene precautions is going to be the best way to prevent this infection from spreading in the community.